fire. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's indeed a privilege for me to be standing here this morning. My name is um, Oriofe Jennifer. I joined the Choosing in the year 2014. I want to thank God for a miracle job, for giving me a miracle job. Thank you, Father. So, uh, it happened that in the previous place where I used to work, there was an incident that happened there that led to my dismissal. So, when they dismissed me, if bef before the dismissal, they gave me a suspension, but immediately they gave me the suspension i didn't wait i started applying for another job because i know that of course my job my kind of job is in fact we as a lady were scarce i work as a swimming coach so i knew that was scarce so i tried to apply to other places so uh, i went for the interview even before the dismissal i had already gone for another interview so it happened that uh, after the interview they said they were going to call me back i said okay i came for the program the god that does what no man can do i came for the program on and on the saturday immediately the pastor mounted the pulpit he mentioned my case he said they are going to that job interview you went for they are going to call you hmm. the next day so obviously the next day was sunday so i am um, on monday morning i was sitting in the apartment the other school gave me i was just lying down there and i was hoping that i know these people will call me and lo and behold it wasn't long they called me and they said and eh, coach jennifer we we are giving you this job and i'm like wow just like that they say yes yeah, just like that i said okay hey. no problem so they sent me an offer letter i looked at the offer letter i looked at the salary i called them i told them that i can't collect these payments they said why i said as a female swim coach not just a female swim coach i am professional at this job you can't give me lesser than what they are paying me in my previous place the lady the hr was like okay we'll get back to you so i came here on thursday of that week and a brother gave a testimony he said something that it was a school sat that he had a school sat and when he went to look for a job and he said that they were asking him how much do you want to collect i picked that testimony i was sitting somewhere around here i said god you are going to do the same for me hmm so i left the church i think that day or the next day they called me they said um we don't want any delay that we have, we have approved the amounts that you are asking for hey and <laughs> thank your father say you can have it privileges of chosen people so they gave me the job i say i give god all the glory i give god all the honor and I have another testimony. It's Can we clap on to God? Remember. Remember. She said she came to a program. And pastor made word of knowledge concerning and said they will call you the next day. Yes. They called. It, and eventually she landed a good job. It was a grand welcoming for me because in a long, long time, they have not had a female coach. And I was the only female coach among six other male coaches. Hmm. I thank God for that. Clap on to God of the chosen. Unique appointment spoken out by the mouth of the servant of God. So, um, for like, let me say, the, for like a year plus, I stopped going to church. I do mostly online, then I come for crusade. But I wasn't going to church, no weekly service. I was I work from Sunday to Sunday because I prepared obviously students that are going outside for competition and even in the country. So it now happened that after I got this new job on the twelfth of November last year, it was on a Sunday like this. My mommy called me that morning and said, Jenny, please go to church. You can't be doing this. I told her that I don't worry. I'll go. 
but I didn't go. I went to work. So it was a private class. That class was supposed to happen from 9 to 10. After I finished that class, around that island side, we are used to entering cars for transportation, normal private cars for transportation. You just see buses once in a while. So I entered this car, not knowing it was a 419 car that I entered. So to cut long story short, they cleared my savings account. They cleared everything. So I came back home. I told my mom about it. My mommy started crying. My mommy does the crying for me. But I always tell God, I know you are taking me somewhere and I trust you. So after then, January 1st, I made a promise to God that I'll be going to church. Whenever I come back early, I'll go for weekly service. And on Sundays, I must go to church. So I started. Before you knew it, the first month passed, second month passed, on the third month, going to the fourth month, people just started calling me for private jobs. Hmm. My brothers and sisters, the money I carried on my head as my own savings, I am getting more than that now, monthly. Power! Like, serve this God, and he will service you. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The day I called my mommy and told her what was going on, she was in shock. She told me that it's your faith that brought you to this to where you are right now even me that i'm your mother ha, i'm not sure that i have this kind of faith i told her don't worry because i and again i immediately i started that first job the first salary i packed everything to the cobble i paid to the church account hmm. and i was paying my tithe so when this job started coming i said god this is the time that you 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 are prepared to bless me because i remember before that um the job started coming i had a dream i was sitting somewhere around there and my pastor was there and he said he see you he pointed at me hmm. he see you he pointed at me and he said my god will bless you hey. and god did it Power. the money that i kept and i said i'm going to be uh, if problem comes up or anything comes up I'm going to use it to be serving God did it they took the money away I know that God was preparing for something but God now started paying me more than that amount now monthly <laughs> and I say all glory all honor be unto his holy name yeah, I cannot do this on my own but I know he's the one that did it and I say and I wish all the choosing people heaven at last. I pray for my pastor heaven at last. I pray for the old choosing heaven at last. Thank you. Wait a minute, my sister, beloved sister. Great testimony there of the acts of God. But I don't want us to miss some very important lessons from your testimony. Okay. Right? Because you said for over a year you were not coming to church. Yes, sir. You were busy working. Monday to Sunday. Sunday to Sunday. Sunday to Sunday. Only falling online sometimes. Yes, and sir. then that tragedy struck. They took away all your money. Exactly. And then you said, let me begin church. Yes, sir. You started coming. Yes, and sir. And then God remembered. You see, because it's very important for us to locate where the problems are so that we avoid such mistakes. Don't allow yourself to be boxed into a job. Employment. That from Sunday to Sunday you are working, and uh, you now say I'm an online person, and you are in Lagos. That will not be right, and that is why probably God allowed that incident to take place, so that the word of our pastor, that life is not by struggle, we proved very clearly, and she understood it. She returned to church, paying her tithe, got a plum job, and the God said it's not over. Paid her first fruit. Handed everything over to God, paying time, and then God made marvelous connection. And today she's singing in praises. I want to beg you, don't allow anything to keep you away from church. Sunday to Sunday you are working. No, our pastor is an apostle of the ministry. 
that life is not by struggle, but that is by the gift of God. As you apply that, you will prosper and you will rejoice like our sister and you will also share the tears of joy. That's what I almost saw coming out from her. Let's clap on to God and appreciate Him. Clap on to God. <laughs>